All right, today I'm gonna show you guys how we make our paddle wheel section. So it starts with a piece of this capillary tubing right here. It's been cut and ground down to a 3000 grit on a flat lap. Uh, and we get all the edges. That seems to be where the scuzz wants to come from is the edges. So make sure to get all the edges on the 3000 lap. And you can see it's fairly clean um, now. Um, and it should polish up just fine once we get it in the flame. You want to be careful about how hard you chuck these things down because it'll actually leave. Well, it can crack the piece, but it'll actually leave these little scuzz marks right where the teeth were. There'll be three of them if you chuck it down a little too tight, it seems. So just going to make sure it clamps there. Then we're going to start heating it up. Oh. Mm. No, we're good, I guess. <laughs> Should have had it, uh, should have chucked it up a little bit harder, but again, I'm scared of even those little marks. So, I've been learning it wasn't too hot yet. So, and sometimes this can be, a, you know, when I'm the difficult part getting it chucked up centered and true. Okay. All right, now we're gonna start to heat it. If, it. if it does leave the scuzz marks I was talking about from the teeth, then we can always just peel it off with a, with a rod. It's not the end of the world, um, but like I said, it seems to be coming from uh, over tightening of the chucks. So now that we've got this, uh, this section heat, heated up in the Bunsen, um, we, we really want to use a, a soft flame to uh, polish the saw cut. So that's first thing, uh, is just kind of letting this piece soak in a really soft flame. A little bit softer than the Bunsen. The Bunsen wouldn't, won't quite do it, but the Bunsen helps get it up to temp and it helps to kind of, um, if you go from zero to uh, trying to polish it, it seems to want to leave more scuzz. It's nice to bring a cut piece up in the Bunsen and then polish it. It's, I find that I get a lot better um, polish after doing that. So now that we, now it is polished, and so we can heat up the flame a little bit more, and we're gonna get the piece of 32 hot to do the seal. We don't have any air right now until we cap it on the tailstock side. But right now you just wanna do a nice little seal let that solidify and then we'll uncheck it there we go. sorry about shaking that camera a little bit So we want to warm everything up again. This this side is cut as well, so we want we have to do the same thing: heat it up in a slow flame and polish it. Any saw cut has the potential to leave a little bit of scuzz on the glass, so you just have to be really careful with any any side that's cut. This piece. Make sure everything the trucks are locked. Bring it in to warm it up. And we're gonna do the same thing, seal seal over here, and then once we have this seal done, then we'll have air pressure again.
Heat it up slowly. This piece is not uh, hot. We can turn the Bunsen off now. Now that we have air pressure, we want to work both sides of the seal. And since we're going to be blowing it out so much, I really I want to bring some of the thickness into that that section at the seal and right next to it. Blow it out a little bit, but you want to try to keep it uh, on the same plane. Work on this other side here. I'm gonna seal it up because when we did the when we originally put it together we didn't have air pressure so come back to it and work it now that we do have air pressure. And we're gonna thicken it up just like we did the other side. Now we're going to use the Red Max to heat it up. You want to get a really nice heat base in there. And get, you need to get the heat into the core of that section. So you really got to soak it in a nice flame for quite a while. I don't like to have the lid too quick when I do this. And I also got my paddle handy and ready to straighten it out a little bit if it needs it. Because as I'm getting all that heat in there, it can get off a little bit. So. And then I'll use the paddle uh, when I'm blowing it out to uh, cool the surface of the glass so uh, and it's also going to cool the sides of this section uh, but the core of the of the capillary tubing will remain hot and keep blowing out so I'm using the paddle to keep it straight and I'm also using it to cool down sections that are hot that that I don't want to blow out And there we go, that was a really nice heat base. It looks pretty even. These can get off and the hub will be kind of not on center uh, if your heat base isn't right. Uh, looks like there might be a little bit of scuzz on there from the saw, but um, you might not be able to see it when it's done. Um, yeah, these are still something we're working on. I'm gonna bring in a little bit of a little bit of thickness to both sides and then blow it out again. And 
Thicken up both sides just a little bit before I take it off. Okay. Like I said, just a little bit. You do the same thing to this other side. Just a little bit, okay? <clears throat> now I'm gonna neck down one side and kind of get it ready because um, uh, it, it makes it easier to take it off once we have the handle. You'll see here in a few steps. Seems a little loose. There we go. I'll be really careful doing that, but make sure it doesn't close up yet by just neck it down. Turn the bunsen down a little bit. And then we can tear off this side. take off some of the excess because I'm going to flatten this. Uh, sometimes we leave them round, sometimes we flatten them. I'm going to flatten this one. Actually, no, I'm going to round this one up. A little bit bigger flame here. I think the 12 hole tip will be good for this. So we want to get everything evened out. It's a little bit thin on the lens there, the, the front side of the window. So we just need to work all the glass to even everything out. Don't want to get it puffed out too much. Don't let it sink in too much though either. So. And then I like to let it cool down a little bit and that lets the thinner spots cool and the thicker spots stay hotter. So it helps even it out when you puff everything. <clears throat> 